Hot Rodders, this is Johnny Hunkins, editor of Popular Hot Rodding Magazine, and we are here with a 1970 Chevy Nova. This car is getting a Torque Storm Supercharger kit added to its 400 cubic inch small block Chevy. Now we're going to be doing a story on the supercharger conversion in another video later on, but today we're going to actually be talking about carburetors. This is a carbureted car, and it's going to remain carbureted for our uh, supercharger installation. And one thing you have to understand is that when you have a carburetor on a supercharger, you need a special carburetor. So we happen to have this Demon 750 CFM carburetor designed specifically for blow-through applications, and we're going to go into some detail on this carburetor today and show you what's under the hood. Well, we have the good fortune today of being here with Jeff Smith. Jeff, you may recognize the name, he was the tech editor for CarCraft Magazine for many, many years, as well as the editor of Hot Rod Magazine and editor of CarCraft Magazine. Jeff knows a lot about carburetors, and he knows a lot about blowers. Uh, welcome to the show, Jeff, and uh, tell us, a, this is a, a Mighty Demon carburetor, right? Correct. It's part of the overall Demon line from Demon Carburetors, and... Uh, this is a little bit special carburetor uh, because it's uh, designed as a blow-through application as opposed to normally aspirated stuff. So what we'll be talking about today is the application and specific uh, features of a blow-through carburetor as opposed to a normally aspirated one. The Mighty Demon in the Demon lineup uh, is a very cool idea. It uh, falls kind of in between the range of the Street Demon and the Race Demon. And uh, for the guy that's got one leg in the street and the other leg in the, uh, in, on the racetrack, it makes a really good compromise, right, Jeff? Yeah, in essence, what you're really getting here is most of the features of, of a race carburetor at an affordable price. So it's really a good idea. Hey, Jeff, give us a quick walk around of the Mighty Demon features. Okay. Uh, it's your basic four barrel carburetor. Let's start with removable bowls. You have a four cor corner idle circuit. So each corner, which makes the idle distribution a little bit better. You have um, obviously the mechanical secondary, so you've got accelerator pumps on both primary and let's secondary see, side. Let's take a look at that mechanical secondary. That's, uh, that's an accelerator pump. Yeah. Right there. So, and then we we'll go from there to you also have uh, both. Um, Manifold vacuum and ported vacuum outlets on the carburetor. Yeah, that's interesting because even though this carb has a lot of race features, it's just something you can bolt right on a street car, and mm -hmm. uh, you get all the func functionality that you expect out of a maybe a period correct OEM street carb. Exactly, and you also have your sight glass bowls here for setting your uh, float levels. Wow, those look pretty big. Mm -hmm. I'd be able to see that even with my bad eyesight. Hey Jeff, I noticed that this carburetor has contoured air entries into the Venturis there. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to concentrate the velocity through the through each of the Venturis because that's what's going to pull the fuel out of the boosters. And with an annular discharge booster, what you have is a, a nice uh, pull through these boosters. These are very much more sensitive than a typical downleg booster. Now on these annular discharge boosters, uh, you can see in there that there are uh, small holes that feed the fuel right after the uh, the curved part of that venturi. It's a, there's a shear point in there as the air enters there. It kind of there's some turbulation there, and it actually will uh, evaporate and emulsify the fuel a little bit more as it goes in there. And a lot of people think that these big annular boosters block the flow, but in a race carburetor and a blow carburetor, blow through carburetor, uh, that's really not that big of an issue, is it, Jeff? No, it's you're really, really concerned more about fuel flow than you are. So the advantage to an annular discharge is exactly right, that you're, you're distributing the fuel throughout a ring, uh, an annulus ring, all the way around the booster as opposed to a single discharge point as, as is typical of a downleg booster. So what you want to look at here is, is your high-speed air bleeds, which are on the inside, and your idle air bleeds, which are on the outside. You have a pair of these bleeds for each 
for each venturi of the carburetor. And in this particular case, these are screw-in bleeds so that you can, it makes them adjustable. It's not something you really want to go in and mess with unless you really know what you're doing. But uh, the advantage of the screw-in bleeds is that it is tunable as opposed to a fixed bleed that is in the case of a standard four-barrel carburetor. And with Demon, I would imagine that they have already optimized those bleeds for the supercharged application uh, for the blow-through. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, those are some of the features from the outside, from the top. Uh, Jeff, why don't you flip that sucker over and uh, show us what's unique about the bottom. On the bottom side, the, the, one of the keys to the Mighty Demon is something called an idle ease. And this is actually an idle air bypass that is adjusted from the top. Yeah, show us that. Through the carburetor stud, through the, through the air cleaner stud right well, here. Well, there's like a little slot down there you can put right. a screwdriver. Put a screwdriver in there. And then that what that does is that will adjust the amount of air this this air, this valve, will bypass into the intake manifold. Why that's critical is that it allows you to set the idle speed without having to crank the idle, idle blades open. Yeah, one of the things that uh, guys typically do when they're setting their idle is they will go on the throttle shaft with the screwdriver and crack that open. And what they don't realize they're doing sometimes is they're uh, uncovering that transfer slot on the side. And, and they're actually doing away with a lot of their uh, fuel tuning curve when they do that. Yeah, in, in essence, what happens is when you crank the idle speed open like this on a, on a long duration camshaft, then when you try and off idle it, it stumbles. So by using the bypass, you now bring the throttle shafts back, the throttle blades back into position. Just, just, you just open up the transfer slot slightly, and it works really well. We're in the process of installing this Torque Storm supercharger kit on this 400 cubic inch small block Chevy. And obviously, we're going to have some positive pressure on the top of the carburetor. And that makes this carburetor a completely different animal than a standard carburetor. It's got to be set up specifically for the boost coming into it. Jeff, why don't you tell uh, folks uh, a little bit about one of the features that we found earlier when we were exploring this thing. Well, when you ever have a boost coming through the top of the carburetor like that, what can happen is the boost can actually escape past the throttle shaft seals outside. You could actually have fuel escaping through the throttle shafts. Wow, that Especially sounds dangerous. The, oh, yeah. Especially if uh, the carburetor is a little bit worn. Um, one of the features of the blow-through carburetor is these little L-shaped slots right here. And what this does is it takes boost pressure from the Venturi's and applies it to the outside of the seal so that it balances the, the pressure on either side of the seal and you have no leaks. Wow, that's great. No, no boost leaks in terms of, uh, of the pressure of the air coming through, but also no fuel leaks. That's nope. most important of all. Exactly. Nice thing about a modular 4150 carb, Jeff, is that uh, four bolts on, on either side, eight in total, and you can have this whole thing taken apart. And uh, it's just a wonderful uh, piece of engineering. But uh, we digress. In here we have, uh, it looks like we got some uh, metering plates and some float bowls. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. What kind of features do we have? Well, this is die cast stuff here for the uh, zinc of the main body and the float bowls, and then your base plate and your metering blocks are both uh, billet aluminum. So it makes it uh, a little bit lighter than a standard uh, carburetor. And, uh, and also with the billet pieces, you have much more control over the machining and, uh, and the features involved with that. Now we've got billet aluminum metering blocks on the Mighty Demon. And uh, tell us a little bit about this. Okay, obviously you have a, uh, your primary jets here and then a power valve. And the way this works is on the primary side, if you have a power valve, then you can run slightly smaller main jets in the primary side to, uh, to improve your thro part throttle fuel efficiency. And then as you, as you open the throttle up and the engine goes into load, then the power valve opens up. And what it does is it opens up, this, this little diaphragm opens up, and then inside here you can see two little restrictors. And that actually is adjustable for the amount of fuel, additional fuel you want to put in at, as, as the throttle opens. Yeah, the power valve restriction channel, I want to say, is equivalent to about six jet sizes, right? And Roughly in there, yeah. And, and typically that's not adjustable. 
And uh, on a standard carburetor, no, it's not. But this this is. So it uses actually the same bleed that you would use if these were adjustable on on the emulsion bleeds. Right on. Now I notice on the secondary there is no power valve on that. Correct. Because as you open the throttle up, you know you're not worried about economy. Right on. Yeah, you're you're flat out on the uh, on the gas, and with the blower. You're really going to have a lot of you're going to have pressure on that side of it, so it's not going to really uh, have an opportunity to uh, to uh, open and close like you would uh, like you would expect. Now, if this is your first time using a Demon carburetor, and uh, you typically have used Holly carburetors, one of the things you'll like is that. Uh, virtually all the uh, serviceable parts on the carburetor are interchangeable with modular holly parts, Jeff. Correct. So your power valve, jets, metering block gaskets, bowl gaskets, um, all those components actually are completely interchangeable, which makes it nice. That way it's easier to find replacement parts. Yeah. Probably the accelerator pump cams and uh, the pump shots, all that stuff. Exactly. The only thing that I have found that is different with a Demon carburetor are the fuel inlets, the uh, the diameter of the uh, the screws on the on the right. On your the inlet outside. side for your for your primary and your secondary side is smaller than a standard Holly. Yeah. So you will need different uh, different log or, or different different fittings. Uh, different fittings. Yes. Now the Mighty Demon is a carburetor that has a lot of race style features and tunability on it. But what I kind of like about this carburetor is that for a street car, uh, it is a bolt-on type of deal, Jeff. You know, you ha you have the uh, the ports on the side, uh, which are particularly nice for uh, for hooking up your uh, your vacuum accessories and vacuum advance on your distributor and that sort of stuff. Uh, show the folks what we got going there. Basically, you have two different ports here. You have um, you have ported vacuum, and you have and you have manifold vacuum. And the way this works is this inboard one here is manifold vacuum. So this is full time manifold vacuum for like your your vacuum modulator valve on a on, right, on, on your a transmission. transmission. Then this outboard one is ported manifold vacuum, which means that it doesn't the manifold doesn't be for your vacuum advance and it doesn't start and the throttle blades open up. Right. Now typically a race carburetor wouldn't have that because race cars just don't need it but uh, Correct. you actually get all the tunability that you get from maybe some of the race type car carburetors but you but you basically get just bolted on and go from the uh, Mighty Demon line. Yeah you have you have the advantage of both. You have race carburetor application situations and a street carburetor application too. Well, that is Demon's Mighty Demon 750 CFM blow-through carb. As you can see, we've already mounted it on top of our 400-inch small block Chevy. And very shortly, we're going to be bringing you all the details of the Torque Storm Supercharger Kit installation. We're going to have a story in Popular Hot Rodding Magazine and a video and a dyno test. So it's going to get all interesting here in a little bit. So stay tuned. We'll see you then.